Hi everybody, this is Rebecca Keppel. I am super excited to be here on Thermoweb's YouTube channel today. We have a really fun swap between Thermoweb and Graciele Designs. She has these amazing, beautiful, digital stamps and bundles and all kinds of things. And I used a couple of them and I'm gonna show you how fun it is to watercolor and use the foil as a resist. So I printed out all the designs on white cardstock and I printed them with toner printer. And then I ran them through my laminator with foil. And that is how I was able to have the lines be gold foil lines. Now I'm using the Waffle Flowers Water Media Mat. It has these little palette squares on the side. And so I just scribbled some Tombow markers in the palettes and spritzed a little water in there. And then I'm just using a brush to paint on the design. The cool thing about the foil is that it's very similar to when you stamp and heat emboss. The foil acts as a resist so you're very easily able to color within the lines of the foil and if you go outside that's fine too but um, it keeps the water kind of contained within the design so it makes it a little bit easier if you're not a watercolor expert which I am not by any means <laughs> So I am just coloring in the candle with a little bit of the yellow. I like to go back over the designs once they're kind of dry with a little extra color on the lines. So the designer kind of gives you the lines that are supposed to be darker. And if you go back over them with another coat, that will give you that look of depth and dimension. Around the candle glass, I'm just gonna use a little gray just to lightly shade there. And I'm gonna do that same technique of watercoloring over what I've already done with just a hint of extra color on the lines of the leaves. That will give you that kind of two-tone effect or make it look like you have some shading and depth and dimension there. And I'm gonna do it a third time on the flower because I really wanted some of the centers of the flowers or where the petals are kind of folded or where there are lines or veins through those petals as well to be darker. I'm gonna do a little bit of a panel background here. I have some watercolor paper that I die cut with a waffle flower die that has stitch lines in it. And I just spritzed the water right on the Tombow marker that I scribbled right on the work surface of the waffle flower water medium mat, which you can do as well. And that just creates a really nice light background there. I noticed that those, um, those little berries or the little round flowers that are in the sort of upper right and lower left were not dark enough, so I went over them again as well. For this second image, I'm gonna go with some brighter colors. That first one, I was kind of looking for fall colors, but summer is not over here where I am. I'm in the Southwest, and so I'm doing a more summery look to this one. You can see the foil edges there, and they are keeping that water within the image of the cup, which is really, really nice. Like I said, that resist really helps you to contain the water just don't use a ton because unless you have printed on watercolor paper the water will you know ruin the paper if you use a, a lot the thing is with the tombow markers you don't need a ton of water and with these images i printed them small enough that i didn't really need a ton of water to make sure everything got colored in so i'm going to do some brighter colors here i have some bright blues and some pink and then the little cup that the flowers are sitting in is a nice purple and I just wanted to show how the gold resist looks really nice whether you're doing fall colors or even if you're doing these brighter kind of more summery looking colors. For this background I chose a different panel die. You can see that it's like the stitched lines are in a diamond shape and I'm doing that same technique of scribbling the Tombow right on the work surface, spritzing it with some water and then using a wide flat brush to cover that watercolor paper.
Okay, this is the Thermoweb iCraft Decofoil Foam Double-Sided Adhesive. I cut it out in a circle. It's from the Gina K Designs for Thermoweb. I'm going to place my foil with the color side facing me, and then I'm just going to rub it with my finger all over that foiled circle there. Then peel it back and you get that reveal, and then peel off the backing and lay it down on your project. So now I've decided that I am going to use one of the sentiments. I'm just going to ink around the edges a little bit with some Distress Oxide inks. And I'm going to use the remainder of that foam sheet so that all of my dimension is exactly the same. So the foiled circle is that foam adhesive, and I'm using the scraps from that to adhere both my sentiment strip and my image as well. And so everything will kind of have that same amount of dimension, and it's, it's a lower impact dimension. I'm also going to use some flock transfer sheets for the other circle. I'm going to peel off the top there, and I'm going to lay it down onto the flock. So this time the color faces down onto the sticky side of that. And once that's done, I'm going to run it through my die cut machine, peel it off, and then you have a nice flocked circle. Peel off that protective backing and lay that down on my project. So now I have one that's foiled and one that's flocked. And I'm going to use the same idea of using up the scraps of that foam adhesive to adhere my little cup of flowers onto the circle and then also to adhere a sentiment which I'm going to ink up with tumbled glass distress oxide ink and then adhere that onto a little strip of the foam adhesive. This way I use up all my pieces of foam adhesive. Now I'm using Ultrabond which is a really strong liquid adhesive by Thermoweb and this is what I'm going to use to adhere down a bunch of sequins and just some shiny things to add a little bit of embellishing to my cards. So for the larger sequins, I actually put a little tiny bit of the liquid adhesive on the back of the sequin and then lay it down. And I was able to easily adhere a bunch of those very quickly. The smaller ones I struggled with. I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do it, but I knew I was going to have to put the adhesive down on my project first. So I started with some little dots of the Ultra Bond and adhered down one at a time, and then I decided I was going to do little groupings. So bigger dots of adhesive and more of the sequins. And now we are ready to adhere these to card bases. These are four and a quarter by five and a half top folding note cards. It's really important when you have watercolor panels to put a ton of tape runner onto your card base and then adhere the watercolor panel on top so that any warping that happened will be flattened out by all that adhesive. And that was it. Super, super quick and easy and fun. I love watercoloring when it's quick and easy like this. And so if you want to try this out, definitely try foiling your digital stamps so that you can use them as a watercolor resist. And I hope you'll check out all of Graciela's designs and the Thermoweb products as well. They'll be linked in the description below. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a wonderful day.